Hey, hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Angel, and I thought I'd share how to change a tire in my big Dodge van. This is a 99 Dodge Ram 3500 Maxi van, one ton. It's quite quite uh, beasty. I love this van. It's my sunflower van, and she has a flat tire. So um, I just thought I'd share some of the details in case you're not familiar and you're out there doing it for the first time. The first one thing you need is your spare. Um, mine happens to be up under, as many trucks and vans are, and so the the apparatus varies a little, but the main idea is you're going to look for this hole. It's either behind a lock, or in this case it's behind my door, and you're going to use some aspects of your jack, sometimes both attachments. In this case, it's real close in, so it wasn't... Sometimes you got to go like a long distance and add both attachments to your jack, which would be both of these little guys. Um, and then it's counterclockwise to all the way to you get to the bottom and get all, enough slack on that chain that you're going to be able to unhook that spare. The other thing you want to do before you jack it up is you want to loosen your lug nuts. I already sprayed them. I took the, uh, there was a cap on here that I removed with the sharp edge of this crowbar, which happens to be, you know, already set the right size for my van, but some, you got to make sure you have a crowbar with the right size um, lug nuts, and then you want to loosen all these up. I already did that, but the way you do that when they're tight is to put them on there and then um, use your weight, your foot, to push down, and again, you're going to go counterclockwise at first. Once you get those all loosened up, and you always go in a star pattern so you don't it's less important when you have a flat, but on the way back in, it's really important to put them on in a star pattern. So you go, you go a lug nut across from the other and across and across so that you don't end up with a weird torque in your tire when you put it back on. Like I said, even more important when you put it on, but it's just good practice all the time to practice um, always addressing lug nuts in like a star pattern. This has, as you see, I think eight lug nuts. That's so pretty... Uh, it's an it's a elaborate star pattern, nonetheless. And you don't have to be exact, but you want to go across, you know, relatively. Anyway, once you get all of these, as I now have them, where they're actually able to just easily turn them, um, either with the lug wrench or I can actually turn them with my hands now. Now I'm ready to jack this up. So under here you have the leaf springs. These would be some springs. You can see they're kind of leafy. I'm going to look for um, a jack mount, which is probably going to be up under here. Anyway, once I find a good spot under there, I'm going to bring my floor jack and a wooden block and use the wooden block to lift up the floor jack if I need to, since this is a big vehicle. Get this jacked up, get that tire off, get the spare put on, and take this in for a repair or replacement. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Put that in the questions section. As always, you can find ways of connecting with me and supporting me in the description, and I appreciate your encouragement, your support, your words of wisdom. Uh, check out my Teespring t-shirts, my books, my music, courses, any number of things down there in the description. And as always, I wish you lightheartedness, loving adventures, amazing cooperation, Mm, don't forget to play every day, stay healthy and well. Ciao.